Wait there one second. You all look terribly confused. Uh, sorry, I was, it wasn't connecting properly. That's why I'm confused, but I think it's working now. Stuart. There we go. Let's give him a second. Yeah, I had problems too. So, Skype is a fucked hard on occasion. Um, there we go. Lovely. Great. Excellent. So I've got Nathan who's silent. I've got Claire who's not silent. I've got Tom who's not silent. I should have Stuart. Um, Tom, are you right, my love? You look exhausted. You're on mute, my love. Sorry, uh, I'm in the I'm in the process of moving apartments, and my parents were just visiting for four days. Aren't they selfish to come at this so, time? <laughs> so, so that that I'm extremely lucky to have kind, sweet parents. But even then, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. You've cleared you've cleared your guilt and your conscience. But yeah, it's bloody annoying that they've come when you yeah, move. It's, it's like it's, it's unless not, your mom wants to turn herself into a pack you know, mule and sort of like carry stuff around Paris. It's a selfish time. Uh, <laughs> uh, Stuart made it back in. It would appear not like Right, so we'll give you just give him one minute. Um, is it very warm there, Tom, the way it's warm here? Uh, yeah, it's actually a bit cooler today, but it's been very, it's been warm. It hasn't been like canny cool warm, but it's been warm for about a week uh it's pretty intense good how I, warm is warm 30 i know it's it's not it's not like australia warm but it's um it's warm, but it's it's warm. warm. it depends if it's wet warm or dry warm isn't it you know but it's also you you're not sort of set up for it you don't have air no, conditioned shops true. and things like that do you that's true and we all live in tiny apartments so that's yeah makes it houseman didn't consider air conditioning did he no he didn't did he <laughs> no. um lovely so let's play looking at the pictures that we've got um so let's go i was like who's top left corner luke luke <laughs> you don't want to see any of my pictures um, let's go to Nathan. No wrong, Nathan. Wrong, Nathan. Why, why is that? Oh, is, is it down as intermediate, Nathan? Yeah, I, I think this is, I put intermediate group Nathan and it all comes up. Uh, ah. Oh, because you're down as Nate, that's why, yeah. Uh, let me pick one. <clears throat> Good. A dog. So you're going to tell us what this dog has done in this photograph, Nate. So tell me in English about this photograph a little bit. Um, we were moving into... Could you move a little bit closer to the microphone again? We were, we were moving into a new apartment, and so we had to close my roommate's dog in his room. Um, but the dog doesn't like to be closed in the room, so the dog ate the door and then looked at us under it, through the hole that it ate um, with with sad eyes after it, well, yeah, it turned into a monster. Shit, wood chip door if the dog could do that. So really, exactly. given a compensation from the landlord for living in such, a, in such squalor. Yeah, that was the the worst part was yeah, just realizing that our our, our apartment was going to be horrible. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, a, a criminal could punch through that. Oh, easily. Know. Yeah. Ask Claire; she's from criminal stock. <laughs> off you go. So, um, off you go. So, save me. Uh, we were moving house, and we um, we were moving house, and we uh, locked the dog in the room, and the dog decided to eat the door. Tell me the story, Frank. Nous nous sommes déménagés et le chien de mon colocataire était fermé à clé dans le chambre de mon dans la chambre la chambre de mon colocataire 
mais le chien a claustrophobie, donc il a mangé la porte de la chambre. Mm -hmm. Et Can you say to me again? So we were moving. How would you say we were moving? Nous nous sommes déménagés. Déménagés. Lovely. So, um, uh, basically, um, on était en train de déménager would be better because it's in the process, yeah? So, on était en train de déménager, yeah, okay. Um, so, you, you, in other words, you needed the dog out of the way while you were doing jobs, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Copy me. Le chien est claustrophobe. Le chien est claustrophobe. Le chien est claustrophobe. Okay. Donc, on l'a fermé à clé, you don't need, because that's just the idea of locking, as in locking the door. It's more about the idea of like that he's in there. So, on l'a enfermé. Yeah. So, um, la, on l'a enfermé le chien, ou le chien était enfermé dans la chambre. So, just say that bit for me. Um, on est. <coughs> On était, en, on était en train de déménager et euh, donc on a enf, on, le chien a été enfermé dans la chambre. On était en chien, on était en train de déménager et le chien a été enfermé dans la chambre. On était en train de déménager, donc le chien était enfermé dans a la été, chambre. Le chien a été, en, yeah. a, été euh, a été enfermé dans la chambre. Good, okay. Um, copy me. Vu qu'il est claustrophobe. Du coup, il a mangé la porte. Vu qu'il est claustrophobe, du coup, il a mangé la porte. Vu qu'il est claustrophobe, du coup, il a mangé la porte. Du coup, non, du coup, du coup, du, du coup. coup, du coup, il a mangé la stop porte. Stop it, stop it, consonants. Du coup, il a mangé la porte. Du coup, il a mangé la porte. Let's so remember, don't stop any consonants and stop any vowels. Stop any consonants and and and, and sing your vowels. Good. Um, uh, copy, copy me. Il nous a regardé avec les yeux tout tristes. Il nous a regardé avec les yeux tout tristes. Il nous a regardé avec les yeux tristes. Il nous a regardé avec les yeux tout tristes. Il nous a regardé avec les yeux tout tristes. Now get it out. Small consonants is the theme of the day. Do you remember when we did the book? Yeah. Il nous a regardé avec les yeux tout tristes. Il nous a regardé avec les yeux tout tristes. Good. Tom, don't make your hair smart. I get complaints. People like it wild. Mm, just look at Nate. Good. So, um, lovely. Let's go down. Next, we've got Claire. I mean, most of these are filth. I can't use these, but... Um, um, there we go. Oh, I'm tempted to go with another doggy one, but I'm not going to just yet. These are good pictures. So... A silhouette of a woman, a beautiful forest canopy behind. Okay, okay, okay. So tell me about this picture, Claire. When was it taken? Tell me all about it. In English. Uh, English. It was taken probably a couple of weeks ago. Um, I, I try and go for, if I'm not doing something else, if I've got any appointments, I try and go for a walk every morning. And, Good on you, Mala. Yeah. But it was the sort of change of... The times, I think. So it was felt early. The shadows are very long for, for early in the morning. It's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah. Good. Yeah, I live next to a sort of a national park, so it's quite pretty. Beautiful. And it's an oak. Is it an oak? No, pine. There's pine. A, there's pine, a bit pine. of a. Yeah, they, they, pan, they planted pan. all these pine trees. Mm, it looks back lovely. In the and day. the soil's got like a nice redness to it. It's very pretty. Um, good. So save me. Um. I uh, went for a walk. Uh, je suis allé au promenade. So je suis allé me promener would be easier. Je suis allé me promener. Je suis allé, je suis allé me promener. Lovely. Small amount. That was damn good. Be be French and just literally get rid of the consonants totally. Oui, alors je suis allé me promener. Je suis allé me promener. Oui, je suis allé me promener. Me promener, lovely. Me and again, promener. je suis allé me promener. Blah, 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 blah. Totally lazy mouth. Well, je suis allé me promener. Je suis allé me promener. Nice. Okay. What time in the morning? Uh, sorry, sorry. Save me. I try to do it every morning if I'm not busy. J'essaie de le faire tous les matins, chaque matin, si je suis pas occupé. J'essaie de le faire tous les matins, si je suis pas occupé. Uh, J'essaie de le faire chaque matin. Uh, chaque matin, si je suis pas chaque, occupé. Uh, sorry, what was the last bit? Chaque matin, si je suis pas occupé. Me with the biscuits in my mouth helps. <laughs> Doesn't hinder French. 
because <sighs> French is vowels and eating kills consonants. So I shall be eating throughout today's lesson. Chaque matin, um, uh, so j'essaie de le faire chaque matin si je ne suis pas occupé. Uh, j'essaie de le faire chaque matin uh, parce que je non. Si je ne suis pas occupé, si, if I'm not busy, si, si je ne suis pas occupé. Si je ne suis pas occupé. Si je suis pas occupé. Yeah, small amount. Si je ne suis pas occupé. So you've arrived, you've arrived at a stage where what you're giving me in French is not your English. It's not your English. Well done, well done. We need it to go another step towards the French. Ça me... Oui, alors si je ne suis pas occupé. Si je ne suis pas occupé. Oui. Euh... Oui. Si je ne suis... Si suis pas occupé. Si je suis pas occupé. Oui, je suis suis occupé. Si je ne suis pas. Si je ne suis pas. Et pas non. Je ne suis, si suis pas. Je suis pas. Je ne suis pas occupé. Good. OK. Notice the word for pine tree is pain. Not dissimilar to sapin for Christmas tree. Notice the word for pine tree, people, is not a reading of P-I-N-E, which would give me peen, which would be another word for willy or penis. OK, so I'm speaking from experience because I had a girlfriend called Sandy who came and visited me um, in the south of France once. And they said, do you like the local area? And this was on the Mollets, this is sort of Mollets, Dax, sort of the Côte Atlantique. Um, in Les Landes, and she said, yes, j'adore tous les, she said, j'adore tous les pines, and the, <laughs> which is like I level the cocks rather than I level the um, the pine trees, yeah. <laughs> Could have been true as well. Um, another girl came to visit me, this was before a very important life change, and um, she nicked a load of biscuits at the welcome pack uh, of all the different rooms. And <laughs> the following morning I got up, She'd gone. So it's the day after the day after I woke up and I went down to have breakfast because uh, I'd negotiated getting a free breakfast. Uh, and Eric, the chef, this was about six o'clock in the morning, went, ta princesse elle est morte. Your princess is dead. <laughs> and I went, I thought he was being facetious because she was quite blonde and high maintenance. And I thought he was being like, I'm going to whoop your girlfriend's ass for stealing food. And he meant Diana, <laughs> because it was the morning Diana oh. died. Yeah. And so I went home to England on the day Diana was killed in the night, got to Paris, where you can imagine the atmosphere there, got to London, where you can imagine the atmosphere there. So I was one of the few people that did London and Paris on the day that Diana died. Mm. Yeah. And my brother, who's a rather interesting individual, always used to say, do you know Luke was in Paris when Diana was killed? And then people go, oh, really, was he? And my brother goes, I spent all that money and they got the wrong car. <laughs> He's a dark little shit. Um, <laughs> good. So, save me, Claire. Um, J'adore tous les pains. I love all the pines. J'adore tous les pains. J'adore tous les pains. Tout, not la pain, les pains. Not les pains. J'adore tous les pains. J'adore tous les pains. Oui, j'adore tous les pains. Nice. Okay. Good. Uh, next up, we have Stuart. Stuart sent me some lovely images too. Everybody did really. Brendan in the other group sent me five different pictures of Brendan. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you are in interesting places in all of them, but only about like a, about this much of the image. They were like this. So there's about this much and this much of the image <laughs> that wasn't Brendan. But I love Brendan, so I enjoyed teasing him over that. Um, right, we've come to Stuart next. These are all great. Let's start in order. So this is a yard. There you see the windows. And there are three chairs. You might spot the colours. OK, so Stuart, do you want to tell us an overview about this picture in English? Um, yes. Uh, I was uh, taking my usual walk around the neighbourhood and I noticed a, a difference in the uh, arrangement of the chairs in front of that house on, I think the date was April 16th, 2019. Um, and so the reason the chairs were, uh, normally that person uh, has their chairs out front um, in the order of red, white, and blue, uh, like the, they're very patriotic, American. Uh, I, I know they're also Catholic, that the daughter goes to Villanova. Yeah. And um, 
uh, what it was was that they had pushed the chairs onto their sides. And it was, uh, shall I ask this is a quiz for, uh, for, the, for the boys? Or, uh, um, and it was because something had happened. Nate looks like he knows. Nate, Nate what do you think happened? No, I don't remember. That's, that's too long ago for me. This is the crazy thing. It seems like forever ago because it was just before the pandemic. And uh, what it was was it was the uh, the fire at the Cathedral of uh, uh, Notre Dame. And uh, the person was uh, just reflecting their sadness about... Uh, I think that's so cool. I, I literally remember I sat just watching that on the sofa just... I was in France for it. I just, I was on Vero's sofa, um, uh, Claire, and I just remember, I just remember sobbing. I was so, so upset. I was like, oh my God. Good. Uh, so Stuart, off you go. So one morning I got up. So one morning I got up. Uh, 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 on my time, uh, uh, Reflexive uh, verb in the past. I got up. Je me suis, uh, je me suis, uh, je me suis, uh, levé. Je me suis levé. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Good. Um, I left the house. Uh, je, uh, je, so, uh, je, um, so it's got to be in the past. Yeah, just have an auxiliary. Yeah. So what's going to go on there? Je suis uh, sorti uh, à la maison. Good. Well done for wanting a preposition. J'ai quitté la maison. Or oh, je suis sorti au parti de la maison. So j'ai quitté la maison, direct, je suis sorti de, je suis parti de la maison. So close your teeth, Stuart, and just say, je suis, um, certainly, j'ai quitté la maison. Do me the version with Q, j'ai quitté la maison. Uh, j'ai quitté à la maison. No, 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 j'ai quitté la maison. No, ah, j'ai quitté la maison. J'ai quitté la maison. J'ai quitté la maison. But notice you've got a lovely muscle memory of à la maison, which is nice that that's there. Good. <laughs> Normally, these flags are patriotic for the American, let's say, for the, let's say for the American flag. It might not be, it might be just the American colours, but let's just say that. So normally these, sorry, normally these chairs are patriotic for the American flag, let's say that. Normalement, ces couleurs... These chairs are patriotic, these chairs uh, are patriotic. Uh, ces chairs... Uh, mm -hmm. uh, are so, patriotic. So, uh, patriot. Yes, lovely. For the American flag. Uh, uh, the, uh, for the American flag. Pour. Pour, pour uh, le, uh, le, uh, le drapeau américain. Nice accent, Stuart. The vowels are absolutely flawless. For once, somebody had tipped them over um, as an homage to the fire at Notre Dame. For once. Un fois. Nice. What's the verb to, so you could say somebody placed them like that. So give me that easy version first. So somebody placed them like that. Uh, Quelqu'un. Uh, 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 That's it, so, but where's the where's the pronoun gonna go if I've got that in the middle? So quelqu'un les. Quelqu'un les a placés, or, um, yeah, yeah, like that. Uh, comme ça. Good, and what's the fancy version of comme ça, beginning with the letter A? Ainsi. Spot on. Quelqu'un les a placés ainsi, quelqu'un les a renversés, whatever, whatever you wanted. Okay, um, mis, uh, mis de côté, like whatever. Um, as an homage to the fire of Notre Dame. Uh, uh, comme un homage. Uh... Nice, nice vowel. Lovely for the fire of Notre Dame. Uh, de, uh, de la feu, de la cathedral. Now, feu is what burns, but the overall thing, if you think of incendiary. Incendiaire. Incendiaire. Incendie. 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 I N C E N D I E. Incendie. Uh, yeah. L'incendie. Incendie. Yeah. Uh, de la cathedral de Notre Cathedral. Cathedral. Cathedral de Notre Dame. Nice. Perfect vowels. Perfect vowel, Stuart. Okay. Save me. It touched me. It touched me. Uh, 
Ça m'a touché. Good, well done on the sap. Well done on, <coughs> on the sap. <coughs> the action by a verb will be sap. Ça m'a touché. Okay. To finish, do we know the verb to move? What's the verb to move that moved me? There's many different verbs for move, but on this occasion, emotionally move, uh, moved me. Um, affected? Some, yeah, you could say that ça m'a ému, ému, E-M-U, ça m'a ému, yeah? Think promotion, promouvoir, promu. Émotion, émouvoir, ému. I'm just going to grab my pizza or we will have another fire. Only medieval oak beams won't go down. It will just be my pizza. Lovely. Um, um, I'm going to be right back. And who's coming next? It's going to be Tom. What did Tom send me? Dick pick, dick pick, can't use, can't use, can't use. Oh, that's a good one. Um, let's go. Do I go in order? No, let's go with that one. Tom, think about what you're going to be saying to me in English about that one. Right, I'll be one sec. Ah! We're all very quiet. <laughs> I didn't mean to put you on the spot, Nathan. I saw I, I, I saw your your face seemed to seem to suggest that you I mean the date I, I didn't remember the date. I had I, it was only because it was on the photograph, but uh, I remember that it was the day after. So what year was it? Sure, you said it was just before the pandemic. I thought it was earlier than that. So, so it was uh, the you know for us the pandemic began. Well you're you the you know eight months later or so, but uh, it was, uh, you know, li life was sort of normal then. And, uh, mm. Yeah, I thought it was about 20, 2017 or so, but I can't, I can't remember. No, it's, it's not that long ago. More yeah. recent than that. Yeah, that, that was the amazing thing about what the pandemic did to, you know, to time is that it, it, it was like a world before it, the world that, you know, world sense and uh, the time before it just got compressed. And I, I you know, I, if you had asked me, I would have said the same thing, 2017 or something like that. It was 2019, I can't believe it. That's, yeah, it that's really strange for me. I really 15, it was, 15th yeah. of April. Yeah, 2019. 2019. I, um, I keep thinking because of the pandemic and I mean, we were locked down for a hell of a long time. It just seems like that time just compressed. Yes. You know, we, Memories are just like pre-pandemic and post-pandemic, but what happened during the pandemic... Now, I have to warn you that when I got back up from the other group, do you know what language they were speaking into each other? Oh, uh, French. Uh, Deutsch. They were speaking in French. <laughs> they were. Oh, bless them. I'm disgusted. Right. I'll pop a light on, actually. It's getting a bit dark. One second. Ah! Uh, uh, it gets too dark, Tom will fall asleep. Uh, right. Lovely. So in other words, did we all see photograph? Okay. Um, Tom, tell me about this image. What does it represent? What is it? Where have you seen it? What was it? It's it's, it's from the uh, Musée de Rodin, which I went to at the weekend. Um, it made me laugh because it reminded me of my friend Gabriel, who has a reputation for being very pouty. Um, Who's got a reputation for being very pouty? Very pouty, yeah. <laughs> um, it was. It's kind of this beautiful Hellenic figure making this very pouty pouty face so I sent it to a friend and said did you know that Rodan made it made a sculpture of Gabriel it was all um however it's making me think of um hang on one second mm. Mm. 
Ein Second. Yeah, um, yeah, I was right. It's, 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 it's not as, um, it's, it's linked to Marianne. It's linked to the Republic. Do you know about the Marianne bust and statues? Yeah. I wasn't sure if that one was a deliberate slight departure or not. So in French town halls, there's always a bust of Marianne. And it's in the same way that we've got Britannia for Britain, and, you know, especially you have Uncle Sam, um, but Marianne is like the symbol of France. So other than like Lecoq, Marianne is like the, the, sculpture, the sculpted head and shoulders, and she's got like the Phrygian bonnet, and it's supposed to be like the symbol of France. It used to be on a lot of stamps and all of this business. And... Um, regularly they update who it is that will pose for the bronze sculpture when they have to replace them so over the years it's been very well-known people like you know Ignace de la Fressange, um, Catherine de Neuve, Bardot, um, Laetitia Castor was the first one from outside of Lexagon so she was um, Luke not Sardinia uh, oh good grief Luke Corsica, um, there's a massive call to have somebody of, you know, ethnic representation and probably give it 10, 15 years, there'll be a trans Marianne, I imagine, in all seriousness. Uh, so, yeah, um, or a veiled Marianne, but that might get a little bit conscious, <laughs> you know, whatever, we'll see what happens. So, yeah, so in other words, so say for me, I went to a museum uh, this weekend. Uh, just, um, bah, je suis allé au musée this week, uh, weekend. Good. This image, so um, there was lots of work by the famous sculptor Rodin. Il y a beaucoup de travaux pour les... Uh, travaux de road works. Yeah, beaucoup de travail. Beaucoup de travail beaucoup yeah, you know, you know, um, yeah, you know, yeah, okay. By the um, famous sculptor Rodin. Par le... Sculpt, sculp... Sculp, sculpture. That was, sculpture is the sculpture, but the sculptor is the guy that does it. Sculptrice. Par, okay, par uh, le, Rodin. Le sculpture célèbre Rodin. Good. He's known for... The thinker, yeah? He's known for the thinker. You've all seen that one? He's known for the thinker. Il est connu par... Il est connu ou il est connu? Connu. Il est connu par le penseur. Pour le penseur. Pour le penseur. Okay. The symbol of France is this woman. Le symbole de France est cette femme. Sorry. Le, sim le symbole de la France est cette femme. Le symbole de la France est cette femme. Marcos, le symbole de la France est cette femme. Le symbole de la France est cette femme. Mm -hmm. From time to time, when they need an update, they choose somebody famous. De temps en temps, quand... Plus de temps en temps. De temps en temps, quand il a besoin d'un... They need quand faut. ils ont besoin ou quand il leur faut. Quand il leur faut un nouveau. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Oh, un mise à jour. Un mise à jour. Un mise, mise à jour. Mm -hmm. uh, un... They ask somebody famous to do it. Il demande quelqu'un... Uh, um, Val. You demand quelqu'un. Uh, quelqu'un, as I've told you before, 
means what an asshole. <laughs> quelqu'un. Save me quelqu'un. Quelqu'un. Are they... I don't mean to be indiscreet, but the sex noise. <clears throat> Do you remember us doing the sex noise? I, I very As in, When we went over in class, rather than uh, the rest of you thinking Tom and I have had sex. Um... Trust me, be wide awake. Um, Christ, do you think with this energy anybody would be shortchanged in that enterprise? Let me tell you. <laughs> I might be a determined teacher, but I'm also a people pleaser. Um, ça s'est mis quelqu'un. 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 Not quelqu'un, quelqu'un. Quelqu'un. Save me. Un, 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 un. Un, un. Right, you all sound the same. Good and quelqu'un is here and quelqu'un is here. Quel quelqu'un 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 un 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 un. Give me the quelqu'un quelqu'un. Quelqu'un. Chest. Un. Quelqu'un. Tom, otherwise I'm just gonna have to come and make love to you for purely French reasons. No. Quelqu'un. Quelqu'un. Let's do it with someone I've had sex with. Claire, Claire. Save me, quelqu'un. Quelqu'un. There you go. Stuart, it was only WhatsApp, it was brief, but we both knew we needed it. Could you save me, quelqu'un? Quelqu'un. Lovely. He's straight in it. His throat is still hoarse from it. Um, lovely. Um, Nate, off you go. Quelqu'un. Good, you can tell who I've shagged. Lovely, lovely. So, <laughs> be careful, I just don't want anybody to tease you. Lovely. Um, good. Lovely. Let's go around again. Nate, photo. Mm. Such good ones, people. You did really well. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So we have a drinks vending cabinet and a shitload of cola, is it? All over the floor, Diet Coke and Coke all over the floor. Lovely. So this looks fabulously interesting. So tell me what happened. Uh, I, I used to work all night at a bakery, and um, I would I would get off work at 8 a.m. and I, I would often go to the nearby gas station, like 7-Eleven style thing or something. Yeah. Yeah, and and just like yeah, get get a drink or something on the way home just to keep me awake or you know whatever. Um, and then I I just remember like there was always weird stuff going on because they they would have like just opened. And for some reason, that just struck me as really fun. I just like walked in, and there was just like set, you know, seventy colas on the floor. I... So, do you think they were due to stack them nicely in the, um, you know, in the shelves, or do you think somebody after something could kick them out, and then nobody had been bothered to put them back? I yeah, I think I think that they were going to like put them up, but just forgot, or maybe someone like that night was going to do it, and just was like, I, I, my shift's over, I'm out of here. It's sort of, it's symbolic that one of them is sort of trying to run away, isn't it? <laughs> I feel that's me and happiness. I'm flee like I'm running away from it. Or rather, happiness has gone away and I'm stuck over there. I, I really do. I sort of feel like, I'm, I really identify with that little bottle there. I wouldn't touch full fat Coke in a million years, but I, I identify with that bottle. Lovely. So translate for me, Nate. I used to work at a baker's. Je travaillais à, la, à une boulangerie. Lovely, à... No, you just identified a really interesting thing, pardon me, in my mouth. You all go à la, because we're used to saying à la boulangerie, but it might not, it might be at a baker's, à une boulangerie, okay? How do you say I was a baker? J'étais en boulanger. Do we need the un? No. J'étais boulanger. J'étais boulanger. How do you say I was a master baker? <laughs> In all seriousness, j'étais maître boulanger. <laughs> that's, maître that amused boulanger. you. 
<laughs> I'm a master baker and I master bake whenever I need. I can't even do that. I keep thinking of the same person. Even that is lost to me. Um, um, I don't want to. I want to. Don't. I don't want to do that anymore. Um, lovely. One day, after finishing work, I went to the local store. Bonjour. Après fini mon travail. Bah, 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 bah. No. I like you, but all of you will pick the Game of Thrones death of your choice if you don't fucking learn après and avant. Have I been over après and avant 60,000 times? Hands up. Four choices and après and avant. Choice number one, where you can use it for an adverb of time with where you'd be swapping it with afterwards and beforehand. I saw Tom after. Like we went to a gig and then I, I went for a drink with Tom after. Afterwards. Après, fine. Um, I went for a gig, but I, you know, I met Nathan for coffee beforehand. Avant. Just fine to use them on their own. Then we have before Christmas, after Christmas. So we have it with a noun. Avant Noël, après Noël. Avant la réunion, après la réunion. That's two of the four. Then we get four verb ones, two verb ones, where you just need to choose if it's the same person in both or different people in both. Same person in both, infinitive, infinitive, après avoir, past tense, avant de, whatever, infinitive, or après que, avant que. Yes. On this occasion, after I finished my shift, after I finished my work, we'll say, I went to the store. Same person or different person, Nate? Same person. So is it going to be après with an infinitive or après que? Après with an infinitive. That's easy. So how would you say after finishing my work? Un jour après avoir fini mon travail, je suis allé à une superette à côté. Good. I found them like that. It made me laugh. Je les ai trouvés en zie et il m'a fait trop rire. What's the word we use for it when we are referring to a verbal action? Ça m'a fait trop rire. Ça m'a fait rire. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm. Luke s'identifie avec, avec la bouteille. Luke identifies with the bottle. Luke s'identifie avec le bouton. You don't have to say that, but yeah, good. Okay. <laughs> um, good job, cool photo. Let's go back to Claire then. These are all good as well. This group generally excelled on this, I have to say. Oh, I saw this one. We have an official document. Perhaps you can see the face element there. And it is chewed and destroyed. Because when Claire gets smoking that weed, there are not enough munches in town to satiate her. So tell me, Claire, what happened in this picture? Tell me in English. Uh, my daughter's dog ate her passport. <laughs> wow. And I was minding him at the time. Wow. I mean, that's just one step away from you being placed in an old people's home at fucking 60 or something. I mean, did, have you, did, did you just lose all parental power for the rest of your life? <laughs> no. Um, luckily, she said it was her, her fault because she left it out, <laughs> which is true. But he has a very long reach because he's so long in the body. If he puts his paws up on a bench, he can reach almost halfway across a bench. And he's got a big head and he loves to eat stuff. <laughs> oh God, fuck the bottle. I identify with this dog. <laughs> right, off you go. So I was looking after my daughter's dog. Before we go, go anywhere, Claire, what verb are we going to use to look after? S'occuper de. Lovely. I was looking after my daughter's dog. Je m'occupe de ah. le... Oh, Mouth closed, I was, so there's no auxiliary. Je m'occupe. Je m'occupe. Oh, uh, no. Je m'occupe. Je m'occupe le chien de ma fille. Je m'occupe du chien de ma fille, yeah? Du, du chien de ma fille. Je m'occupe du chien de ma fille. 
What would be Claire, bearing in mind it's a reflexive verb, I looked after my daughter's dog. I shouldn't do that, Look, that really hurts my joints. I looked after my daughter's dog as an action. What would that be? Je me suis occupé. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm. Whilst, or while, depending where you're from, um, I was doing it. The, um, I forgot to feed the dog due to my alcohol problem. Whilst I was doing it, I forgot to feed the dog due to my alcohol problem. Uh, is it uh, alors, alors yeah, que? Al almost, Claire. Well done. Well done. Good job. Lorsque. 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 Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh, lorsque je, je l'ai fait. fait. I was doing je it. Fait. I je, was doing it. Je le faisais. Mm -hmm. Uh, I forgot to feed the dog. Je, je oublié de nourrir le chien. Good vocab, madam. Nourrir ou donner à manger au chien. Yeah. Donner à manger au chien, give to eat to the dog, or nourrir le chien. Good job, okay? Lovely. Or, 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 or laisser bouffer, let the dog eat, you know, whatever. As a result, du coup, what's the little expression I want? Du coup. Du coup? Nice. No. The dog ate the passport. Uh, du coup, le chien mange le passeport. Mm -hmm. But, weirdly, following Mais... enormous brainwashing, my daughter thinks it's her fault. Uh, mais bizarrement, to suivre le, le brainwashing? What's washing as a noun? Laver. So what's the, the noun Lab. though? What's, Lab. Um, what's the what's the um, what's the noun? Washing. Ah, lavage. Lav Lava. Lavage. That's it. Lavage du cerveau. Washing lavage of the brain. Lavage du cerveau. Lavage yeah. du cerveau. To sweet and lavage du cerveau intensif. Okay. She thought it was her fault. Action. Action. Because it's the change coming in, she thought it was her fault. Sweet lavage du cerveau. Oh, du cerveau. Sweet lavage du cerveau. Elle, elle pensait. An euh... action is now taking place, Claire. Oh. So it's the moment the action elle... happened, so she thought elle a, elle a pensé that it was her fault. Sa fault. Claire, your vowels are coming out of brilliant places. Well done. Notice, people, you will sometimes hear de ma faute. Ce n'est pas de ma faute. And the tendency for you guys is to think, oh, well, that one's the least like English, so I guess that's better grammar. No, it's better grammar to say, c'est ma faute, not c'est de ma faute, but you sometimes get that doing around. I don't mean with students, I mean with French speakers, yeah? Good. Lovely. Save me, Claire. She doesn't resent me. Elle m'en veut pas. Elle m'en veut pas. Good. Lovely. Lovely. What would be she didn't resent me, Claire, if the verb is elle, pronouns mon, the, adverb pas, and I'd now like you to keep the same pronouns, I'd like you to stick it in a tense with an auxiliary, and I'd like you to put the pas in the right place. So what would be, let's just go step by step, what would be elle, mon, the, in the action past tense? Elle m'en a voulu. Well done, you are climbing up this ladder. Would you now pop in the negative? Elle ne m'en a pas voulu. Good, elle m'en a pas voulu. I myself don't elle use a noble. Elle m'en a pas voulu. Elle ne m'en a pas I mean, fine, elle, elle ne m'en a pas voulu, but elle m'en a pas voulu. Lovely. Elle m'en a pas voulu. Good. I'm going to go to Stuart's and I know which one I want. They're all good. What we don't do this week, we'll do next week, guys, because not nobody sent a bad picture. Mm. Oh, by the way, Stuart, I don't know rights-wise why that would happen, but um, the Curb Your Enthusiasm video that you sent me, um, it says not allowed in your area, geographically, which really strikes me as odd because Larry King stuff, like we, um, um, Larry Dagger, we have loads of that stuff on YouTube like here, so I don't know what that is. So, 
Um, it's because I sent a link to the HBO uh, site. That, oh, I see. Usually the smart thing is to get it from one of these... Uh, Independent people that have just popped it, yeah. Yeah. I always used to like the music for that so much. Right, so. Um, <laughs> how cute is your wife? So basically, we have an attractive lady with shiny hair, doesn't it make you sick with jealousy, uh, lying on the floor with a little cat's head coming out from underneath some furniture. <laughs> Look at the smile on her little face. <laughs> ah, I'm gonna, I can't quite tilt the light. Oh, bless her. So could you please tell me, Stuart, what in God's name is going on here? What have you done to Lynn that she has to hide from you? Tell me what's going on. <laughs> um, well, uh, uh, we adopted a cat, and uh, uh, the cat uh, hated you both. It would appear. Yes, uh, it was a very, was very uh, reluctant to uh, uh, come and uh, uh, socialize, and uh, so uh, uh, the cat hid under the. Uh, I don't know what you would, it's probably some British word that describes those sorts of things in the, in the dining room, those large uh, cabinets that hold. Yeah, like the dresser or like, or a cabinet or the cupboard or the, yeah, like the dress, well, traditionally a dresser used to have a back of it with plate, um, shelving for plates or the, um, mm. Claire would know, come on, the dining room. Yeah, like a, um, console. Like, a dining, like a cupboard, um, um, the irony is, I know which word that's going to be in French. Um, I think I'm gayer in French. Um, uh, yeah. Sideboard. Sideboard. The sideboard, Claire, you're absolutely right. Yeah, I, 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 I have difficulty sometimes when I think about a wardrobe, thinking of what's the French word? No, it's a sideboard. It's a, yeah, that's very English, a sideboard. Yeah, the sideboard. Yeah, because dresser's got like, dresser's like a sideboard with just the back, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. Dresser's um, got shelves going shelves on Shelves for plates and stuff. And, yeah, yeah, it's a sideboard. Um, so um, the cat, cat would not, uh, wasn't interested in uh, uh, socialising and... Uh, uh, my wife got down on the uh, floor and uh, tried and reached under and tried to get the cat to uh, come out. The cat was uh, not having it. The look on the cat's face is like my <laughs> friend Phil when he's just taught three hours with all kinds of batshit cray cray people. And he's like, I've had enough of humans. <laughs> and then we have to walk back through central London um, full of more cray cray humans. Um, that's the expression. So lovely. So up you go, Stuart, to save me. Lynn and I decided to adopt a cat. Uh, Lynn and moi, uh, on, uh, no. Pardon me interrupting. You are a we. Oh. So that's a very common thing. People always go on as in O-N-T, but oh. you and Lynn oh. are a we. I've got, uh, That's I, it. I could say avant or I could say ah. So you've raised a very good point. Let's say I'm Stuart and I'm saying Lynn and I adopted. We have the following options. Lynn et moi, nous avons adopté. Lynn et moi, avons adopté. Lynn et moi, on a adopté. That's it. You can't say Lynn et moi a adopté. You can't use the third person singular form of en verb wise without the third person singular subject en. You can't. So can I be very clear when I say on, I mean O-N rather than O-N-T, yeah? So Claire and I left. Claire et moi sommes partis. S-O-M-M-E-S. Claire et moi, on est parti. Claire et moi, nous sommes partis. Yeah, but it's much more common to say, Claire et moi, on est parti. Uh, alors, Lynn et moi, on a adopté un chat. Lovely. Save so me, the cat didn't want... Save so me, the cat wasn't very social. The cat wasn't very social. Uh, la, la chat... Uh, Not the pussy, le chat, le chat. Le chat. 
Uh, if it's a female cat, then in context you can say la chat. But it also means in every, every interpretation of the word, the pussy. Yeah? Like sexually. Yeah? Okay? Um, um, and I haven't, I think the last time I used that personally, in the personal level, was when I still had a blockbuster DVD card. So it's like, <laughs> you know, but yeah, but the fact, is, the fact is, the fact is, that is the word in French for that. Like any sexual, you know, je vais te bouffer la chatte. If you don't understand it, Google it, whatever, whatever, it would be chat. We were talking about this earlier in the other group. It's fine. It's fine, 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 fine. Tom's had to like drop out of camera. <laughs> like, it was all too much for Tom. Me talking about buffeting a chat, it was just too much for Tom. Um, yeah, so in other words, be careful. Yes, yeah, so, alors, le chat, okay? Chat, you chat. can say la chat, une chat, but just make sure you totally make sure people exactly know what, the, what you're talking about first, and then it's fine. It's like bitch. You won't go, Lynn and I adopted a bitch. You'd be like, um, you know, you just say, Lynn and I, we got a dog. Is it a dog or a bitch? Oh, she's a bitch. Yeah, whatever, 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 you know? Uh, great. Um, Mm. Le chat n'était pas de, très social. Lovely. So, sociable is a bit more common. Yeah. Yeah, sociable. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah. Um, because. Um, mm, mm, because. Um, social refers to social situations yeah where social is very social person be sociable yeah um good um the cat tried to hide under the and that word for that piece of furniture in, in french buffet. where do you think a buffet comes from so the hat the cat tried to find hide under the um under the um you know under the um the buffet figure I missed the French word for whatever it is that we're talking about, that, that thing. Buffet, buffet. Oh, buffet, yes. Buffet. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the chat, um, uh, uh, S-A-A, uh, uh, se cache. Uh, well done for the sir. Well done, Stuart. Le chat essaie de se cacher under the buffet. Uh, 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 sous le buffet. Good. Um, um, Lynn lay down to try to encourage it to come out. I've done the same thing many on many occasions. I've laid down next to somebody to try to encourage them to come out. Off you go. Um, Lynn lay down to uh. try to encourage it to come out. Um, drawing a blank on laid down. Uh, se cou se uh, I don't know. Uh, C'est allongé. Uh, C'est allongé. Yep. Okay. Yep. Lynn, C'est allongé. Yep. Pour encourager. Uh, Pull on cars, a to encourage the cat to come out. Uh, the veneer, uh, encourage le chat à. Yeah, uh, so in other words, it works like a day and not like permettre. Yeah, so. Encourager le chat à sortir, as opposed to like, encourager au chat de sortir. So it works like a day. Pardon me, I just need a drink. One second. Ah, oh, my knees. Three out of four of us so far have animal. Nate, do you know what is disgusting and terrible? 
no I'm way. really craving a tin of soda now. <laughs> I'm sorry. By your, I'm by, sorry. Your, by your product placement. Today's okay. lesson is sponsored by Coca Cola. <laughs> um, I've written. Do you reckon this is work? This will work. A friend of mine only wears Adidas, uh, Adidas um, sweatpants, and he wears them religiously. Like every single time I've, I've seen him teaching, he wears them. He turned up the other day in some blue ones and got changed into some black ones for work. Um, and they look cool because it like shows off what, what his legs doing and stuff. And I thought, my God, if Adidas knew how many you wear and because he teaches loads of people copy and get the same. So I'm thinking I tried before, but I didn't hear back. But I'm really going to try and contact Adidas and go, look, here's your brand ambassador. There's <laughs> somebody that literally wears them every day that they teach. Worse, what are they going to do? What, and there's, there's all these online videos which have got him in these. Don't you think there's a minimum they could send him a little voucher? And a maximum would be like, hey, do you want us to like give a shout out to you on your social media so that loads of people come and do your class? I think I, I was like, do you know what I mean? I thought that's quite cool. Uh, mm, right. If anybody works for Adidas, let me know. So we're going to come to Tom. Pardon me, smacking my lips. Mm. Now, it's two very slim and athletic looking mature people in front of my house. Lovely. I'm guessing these people are related to you, Tom, from the cheekbones. So tell me, tell me, who are these people? Uh, they're my parents. Um, Lovely. And they were, my dad wanted to visit uh, the Jardin and the plant. And uh, I was going to say, the background, we've got the Natural History Museum in yeah. Paris, mm, yeah. which I was talking to you guys about the other day. Um, lovely. Um, you can see the lovely, dry, arid grass of, of, <laughs> of summer Paris. Mm -hmm. Off you go. So tell me more about the photos. So there's, you, there's your mom and your dad. Uh, yeah, they wanted to, uh, my dad especially, he's into um, the history of gardening and plants and he wanted to visit the Jardin de Plant because he heard that it was set up as a medicine garden originally for... Mm, it's like the, the Chelsea, people. it was originally like the Chelsea Physic Garden as your dad been there in London. No, I don't think so, but he'd oh be Oh my God, there. next time your dad wants a train journey, tell him I'll take him around there. Number one, it's planted according to area in the world. So it'd be like North America, South America, the the, the antipode, you know, whatever, antipode. And it's like, um, it's basically all the plants that we use as medicine and poison. It's such a cool garden. It's so, so cool. It's right on the river. What's um, it called? Chelsea? Chelsea Physic Garden. Physic like garden. Physic, like P-H-Y-S-I-C. Um, your mom's hair is a nice colour. My mum tried to go no dye because my grandma has had like absolutely like snow white hair like this. And my other grandma had the most badass silver hair. And my mum was like, oh, I might try it. I might try it. So my mum stopped dying for a bit. And my mum was like, how the hell can nature produce such an ugly natural colour? My mum was like, this is just not going to happen. Got the dye out again. She's like, what even what even colour is this? Um, yeah, it's, it's just the and then she was like, do you think I've like dyed my follicles over the years of dyeing my hair? I was like, do you want the honour to that on a scientific level? No. Um, off you go. Lovely. She's always worked in oncology in the sort of recent years. So she knows loads of people that have like lost all their hair and then grown it back and gone, I'm not going to dye it when they grow it back. So they go naturally. They're like, oh, what lovely colour hair you've got naturally. And my mum was like, oh, I'm all up for this. And she was like, where is that damn dye? <laughs> right. So translate me. My parents visited me in Paris. Uh, my parents are some of them visit to Paris. Oh, that was completely wrong, but very encouraging. The vowels were lovely. And you remembered that rendu sometimes has a son. Why is that, do you think? Because there's plenty of expressions with rendre with son. Il se sont rendu compte. Yeah, so il s'y sont rendu, they turned up there. But on this occasion, it's rendre visite à quelqu'un. Rendre visite 
a quelqu'un. So how would you say they visited me? Look, Auntie Lukey, look, Auntie Lukey. When we have reflexive, direct and indirect, when do we need to care about which one they are? And when do we not need to care? When do we need to care if a verb is reflexive, direct or indirect? And when do we not need to care? Uh, we need to care if it's if, if it's doing it, if, if we know. No, we need to care if it is. An ABC verb? If it is. If it's third person, if it's we third. need to care. OK. If it's not third person, m and t and nu and vu will work for all three of the bleeders, won't it? Do you see what I mean? Mm -hmm. Say for me, I get washed. I assume you do, you always look clean. Say for me, I get washed. Je... Well, it's just we love it. Present tense, I get washed. Get present tense, I get washed. Yeah, je me lave, je me lave. Present tense. Je me lave. Good boy. Good. Reflexive. Mm. Mm -hmm. Luke knows me. Luke knows me. Direct. Uh, Luke me connaît. Good. Luke gives me a hug. Un câlin. Un câlin. Luke gives me a hug. Uh, Luke me donne un câlin. There you go. Un câlin. Three usages of me. Reflexive, direct, indirect. Did we give a rat's ass about whether or not we were using direct, reflexive, indirect? Or did we just go me, me, me? We just went me, me, me. Same as ta, ta, ta. Same as nu, nu, nu. Same as vu, vu, vu. The only time we would need to care if something was reflexive, direct or indirect would be <gasps> A, if you've got um, um, like a third person, because then you've got ce, lui, leur versus le, la, lay, or B, if you've got a name or a noun. Yeah, so rendre visite à quelqu'un, il ment. What's the past tense of rendre? Rendu. So if you then they visited me. Ils m'ont rendu visite. You just super soft mouth. Ils m'ont rendu visite. Ils m'ont rendu visite. They visited you. Ils t'ont rendu visite. We won't speak about that. <laughs> Rendre visite. I'm a patient bitch, aren't I? I really am. Rendre visite à. They visited her. They visited her. Il... Yep. Il lui a rendu visite. It's good French, but he visited her. I know what he wanted. What? Il... They visited her. Il lui. I'm sorry. Il, il lui a rendu visite. Good. It's good to do it tired because it can go straight into the long term memory. You don't have a very good short term memory when we're tired. So go straight into the long term memory. Il lui a rendu visite. They visited them. Your parents visited them. It's been ages since they used to do keys in a bowl with the Andersons, but they went and visited them. They visited them. Off you go. Uh, can you now say it for me in a blurred mouth way? And can you now think it as you say it? Or oh, they visited them. Who in your story are you talking about? It doesn't need to be your parents. Who's visiting whom in your imaginary situation? Uh, I don't... Damn, weird as it sounds, they visited them. I'm thinking of two dudes who met two girls in a university bar, and the girl said, why don't you come over later? I said they visited them. I mean, that might be a little bit cheeky, but that's basically where my brain has just gone, for whatever reason. So for me, oh, il leur a rendu visite. Il leur a rendu visite. Don't practice grammar. Practice your life. Hmm? If I'm telling you some story, identify with it on your level. And then it will just connect. Lovely. Good. Um, using the verb s'intéresser à, my dad's interested in this kind of thing. My dad's interested in this kind of thing. Uh, mon père s'intéressait à ce genre de choses. Luke is tired. Just, just ever so gently headbutt my hand because I can't be asked to slap. Go on. Ch -ch -ch. Present tense. Luke, you, my dad is. Your dad is still very much with us, thank the Lord. My dad is interested in this kind of thing. Good man. Mm. 
you have a nasty case of imperfectitis, which is your imperfect is a bit inflamed. Okay, it's very common, very very common. Because these verbs are interesting. It's interesting to say ah, yeah, you know, they sound the imperfect sounds like the infinitive, doesn't it? Good. Um, if you cross the river from Bastille, Bastille, and you um, you can access the park. If you cross the river from the Bastille, you can access the park. Uh, si tu crois le... The, past, the, the present tense of that verb is quasi, quas. Si, si, but that'd si. be like, je me quas. Or on the quas, you can you can quas someone if you meet them, right? Is that... Oh, tu vas jamais deviner qui j'ai quasi en ville. You're never going to believe you are bumped into in town. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Les yeux croisés. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, les mots croisés, crosswords. Yeah. Um, as in a croix. Yeah. Um, off you go. So what's uh, the verb uh, I want in the T? Yeah, traverser. Good. You can access the park. Last one from you. You can access the park. Uh, uh, tu peux accéder à le parc. Well done, good man, for knowing accéder à. But how is that going to segue into le parc? Tu peux accéder au parc. Good. So practice your victories, not your defeats. Practice. You don't want muscle memory your defeat. You want muscle memory your victories. So say me. Tu peux accéder au parc. Uh, tu peux accéder au parc. Nice. Peux All of you now have got a super clean little bit of accent going on. In a small mouth. So just go to back to the park. Up again. To back to the park. Very good. Pick a video from some bastard on here that I've sent you guys. Say it with a blurred mouth. Think it as you're saying the example. End of. 15 minutes a day, maximum fluency around the corner. Good. One more from everybody, then we can chill. Good job, everybody. Going very well. Take a minute's rest. Just talk about something else for a second. Nathan, what's new with you? At the moment, I'm in Volleros in Normandy, mm -hmm. which is a, a, a nice um, small village on the sea. It's, just, it's really great. What took you there? Just, just for fun, just um, being, being sick of uh, my ugly small town and, and Paris. So I wanted to go somewhere pretty. <laughs> mm. I went away for the weekend. Um, as you may have heard in some of the individual teaching videos, my mom is 70 um, on the 23rd. And um, for some stupid ass reason, I said I'd do the party at my house. And for various reasons, I wasn't, I didn't go to the property since sort of the end of last summer. I didn't want to leave somebody in London, whatever. There's a, a neighbour over there that was being a real douche. And I just thought, oh, although rather uncomfortably. He died. <laughs> so now it's kind of like and my mum was like, yay, comeuppance. I was like, I don't know if I can go there, mum. I don't know if I can go there. My mum was like, yeah, yeah, he had it coming. He's stolen a load of money from the group fund. And I was just like, I can't celebrate that someone is dead. I'm not quite that person. But. I was like, right, got to go this weekend, got to go this weekend, got to chop, got to trim, got to chop, got to trim. 29 bastard degrees it was, you know, I was like, ah, oh, ah, oh, my God. I was like, I have to do it, I have to do it. Mm. Anyway, so today's lesson is sponsored by sun cream because 30 degrees up the top of a conifer with a saw without being burned is entirely down to... Um, Sun cream, let me tell you. Good. Right, let's do one more from everybody. So, Nate. Mm. I'm keeping some good ones for next week. So we have a rather gothic looking church with a what we would call a merry-go-round and you would probably call a carousel in front of the 
church. Tell me about that. It looks like the cathedral in Gotham in the first Batman movie. So I'm quite excited. Mm. Um, yeah, that's that's in Rouen uh, in Normandy. Mm. And it, there was, yeah, I just thought it was funny to have this um, gorgeous masterpiece of, of architecture. Yeah, very, very gothic, very imposing. And then, yeah, there's a bunch of kids on this kind of gauche, um, very like harshly colored merry-go-round in front. Um, and those are the type yes, of juxtapositions. It's particularly striking because there's no leaves on the trees. Mm -hmm. And it's a really, I mean, it looks blue on the screen, but it's actually like a gray sky day, isn't it? Yeah, lovely. Yeah, and I, I love those type of juxtapositions, um, seeing those in France, because we don't, I mean, I, I'm not used to that at, at all um, where I'm from. We, we don't have any medieval cathedrals at all. So uh, it's very funny to me, the, the old and the new kind of clashing like that. Good. So translate for me. I liked the juxtaposition between the two things. La juxtaposition entre les deux choses m'a plu. That's what I wanted. Um, the cathedral is gothic and beautiful. Le cathédrale est gothique et beau. Et belle. Et belle. Okay. Um, on the other hand, the merry-go-round, the um, carousel, is kitsch and a little bit ugly. Par contre, la monnaie. You can say d'un côté and de l'autre côté, but it's less common in France to suddenly go. On the other hand, if you haven't said on the one hand. Whereas in English, we just go, on the other hand, quite easily. So if you think of an argument, d'un côté, from one side of the argument, de l'autre côté. Could you all just say that for me? D'un côté, de l'autre côté. D'un côté. Non, côté, d'un côté, de l'autre côté. D'un côté, de l'autre côté. Are we fully saying it with maximum relaxed mouth? Why d'un côté, de l'autre côté? D'un côté, de l'autre côté. Good. If we don't practice it with relaxed mouth, we won't hear it with a relaxed mouth, will we? Good. D'un côté, de l'autre côté. Um, lovely. Um, what's the word for the merry-go-round that we've got? La manège. Manège, yep, yeah, okay. Mm. In dance, if you spin in a circle and everybody keeps turning and you all go round and round in a circle, lots of dancers together, or one person goes round in a circle, it's called a manège, as in the ballet terms video. Um, lovely. Um, I don't know why, but this kind of thing amuses me. I don't know why, but this kind of thing amuses me. Je ne sais pas pourquoi, mais ce genre de choses m'amuse. Pastor, oui, je ne sais pas pourquoi, mais ce genre de choses m'amuse. Je ne sais pas pourquoi, mais ce genre de choses m'amuse. Good. Luke is happy that I have made the most of my time in France. Luke is happy. No, Luke is... Luke is, no, I'm happy I made the most of my time in France. Imagine I'm speaking as, as, as you. I'm just climbing into you. So I'm, um, I'm happy I've made the most of my time in France. Je suis content de profiter de mon now, temps I'm en France. Now, I'm liking that you know it would go de infinitive. I'm liking that very much indeed. But number one, we're going to go past tense on me, yeah? Je suis content d'avoir profité de mon temps. Yeah, because it's in the past, yeah? Okay. Je suis content d'avoir profité de mon temps Good. en no, France. Never let an infinitive auxiliary, never let any infinitive be infinitive. Never let any auxiliary be big. Never mm. let any auxiliary be big, people. Never practice it large because you never ever, it won't be given to you that way. Oui, alors je suis content d'avoir profité de mon temps en France. Go again. Je suis content d'avoir profité de mon temps en France. Lovely. I'd like you to turn down the, the mouth work a little bit less. I mean, turn it down more, make it a little bit less. Oui, alors je suis content d'avoir profité de mon temps en France. Oui, alors je suis content d'avoir no, profité. Oui, ouais, je suis content d'avoir profité de mon temps en France. Je suis content d'avoir profité. Did you all hear the exercise I wanted earlier? Three consonants. Yeah. Yeah. Moi, je suis content d'avoir... Oui, alors moi, je suis content d'avoir profité de mon temps en France. It's like the mouth could get big, the vowels could get big, but not the consonants. 
Je suis content d'avoir profité de mon temps en France. Lovely. All right. Have you noticed some increase in your listening potential since you've been aware that vowels beat consonants? I'd like to hope so, yeah? Absolutely. Good. Um, now we're going to Claire. Last one from Claire um, for today. Oh, we have to. Oh, we have to. The culprit. The culprit. Yes. Lovely. So, Claire, tell me what's going on. Um, my daughter had taken him for a walk in the rain at, to the park, and that's what he came home looking like. Now, is that through he, rain or is that through fucking around in puddles? Um, it's probably a combination. He loves He loves to play, and she takes him to a dog park where they're off lead. Oh, I love those. There's one down the road from me. Oh, aren't they a good idea? Yeah, yeah. people, the ju jury's out with breeders, though, uh, with some dog people about whether they are a good idea or not. But Why he don't loves people it. like them? Well, some dogs um, uh, can get quite confused by being in a situation with other dogs that they don't know. And yeah, it can lead to behavioural problems. Some people say, I'm not an expert, this is our money quoting. But well, then they don't people. have to take them there. Do you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It depends. They don't, it doesn't suit all dogs. All breeds, yeah. Or all, all breeds. But yeah, it's, a, it's an individual thing with a dog, whether a dog, you should socialise. Well, not all, not dogs. all humans want company. No. Exactly, of exactly. Of yeah. I, go back to, yeah. I go back to Phil earlier, like, yeah. But he needs it. He needs that interaction with other dogs. Yeah. He needs to run because he, he was bred to, to hunt. Yeah. And, you know, he needs to run. And, 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 and he looks so happy when he's running because his big ears fly back and he's, he looks like he's got a smile on his face. And at other times he looks like he's got a resting sad face. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Um, um, brilliant. So save me. She walked the dog. Uh, elle uh, elle a le chien. Elle a promené le chien. Elle a promené le chien. Was the, elle, elle a marché avec le chien. Elle s'est promenée avec le chien. Elle s'est baladée avec le chien. Mais elle a promené le chien. Yeah? Okay. Elle, a, elle a promené le chien. OK. Small, soft to mouth, elle a promené le chien. Elle a promené le chien. Good. Um, Although he seemed sad, he enjoyed himself. Um, bien qu'il ait l'air triste. Good. Now, bien qu'il ait l'air, because as you know, bien qu'il take subjunctive. Yes, yeah, so bien qu'il ait l'air, bien qu'il semble. Yeah, so if you're using the different themes, so paraître, paresse, semble, semble, bien que, same. So bien qu'il paraisse, um, you know? Uh, bien qu'il bien qu ait, bien qu'il ait, bien qu'il ait, yeah? Okay, so bien qu'il ait l'air, il a l'air, bien qu'il ait, look, thank you for it, non, c'est bien qu'il ait l'air triste, bien qu'il ait l'air triste. Uh, bien qu'il ait l'air triste. Lovely, he, he enjoyed himself past tense. Um, il Remember your mouth. Now you're trying to be clever and you're trying to give mm. me a hybrid of s'amuser and plaire. So, ça lui a plu, that pleased him, or il s'est amusé, yeah? Let me hear it. Il s'est amusé. Il s'est amusé. Pardon, il s'est amusé. Il s'est amusé. Ça lui a plu. Ça lui a plu. Good. Lovely. Remember, something needs to plaire you, but you can do the amusé. Um, he's completely wet, and uh, you can see the mud. Uh, il est complètement mué et mouillé ou veux... trempé. Mouillé. Trempé is like dipped in something trempé. wet. So il est tout mouillé. We tend to say il est tout mouillé, which is two lovely ooh vowels. Oh, I need to give that to the lovely Denise in the group. Il est tout mouillé. Oui, il est tout mouillé. Il est tout mouillé. No, mouillé. Ou, go for me. Go for me. Ooh twice. Mm. Ooh ooh ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Tom, if you don't stop playing with it, I will bring a pair of clippers with me to Paris and I will literally skin it. 
Um, so <laughs> save me. Um, oh, well, like a sheep, I'll just lock you between my thighs. And just, yeah, okay. I do it more when I'm tired. I can't help it. I'm sorry. What did you say? I do it more when I'm tired. I can't help it. I'm sorry. Oh. We know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm teasing. I'm teasing. I'm teasing. So save me. Um, um, Claire, it's a nipple. That's why she doesn't turn the camera on. It's just a nipple. She's just playing with a nipple. So save me. Il est tout mouillé. Il est tout mouillé. Il est tout mouillé. Yeah, but if it's anything looking like effort, we don't in French. Well, il est tout mouillé. Il est tout mouillé. That's better. If it's effort, it's not French. Um, you've got to deal with our personalities. That's enough, let alone the, wo the, the, the work. Yeah, okay, good. So lovely. Il est tout mouillé. Um, lovely. Uh, what's the word for mud? Boué? Boué? Not boué. bad. Boué, we could do the soft touch, like a, a life boy. A boué. Uh, uh, sorry, la boue, la boue, la boue, la boue. La boue. La boue. La boue. Good. Pardon? Les tuques couverts, les boues. Uh, yes, couverts. Good, Claire. Yeah. That's what I was going to go with next. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Um, um, somebody's just sent me a really nice moving message and I'm trying not to get upset. Um, uh, 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 uh. Right, Stuart. I'm saving the cat one. <laughs> um, well, I don't know, though. Is, um, Stuart's got some damn good ones. Um, yeah, let's go with this one. So we have a painted outdoor scene on the side of a building, yeah, with an optical illusion. Okay, lovely. Good. It's so that if any of Stuart's prisoners ring the police from the dungeon, they look out and the cops say, now what can you see? And they describe it and they never get found. Genius, genius. Genius. He paints a whole cityscape on next door's basements and they look out and they go, oh. Never found. Lovely. So, Stuart, can you tell me what's going on um, with on the side of, of this building? Can you tell me what's what's going on? Uh, so that's the uh, in the old city of uh, in Quebec, Quebec. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, so there's a. a, a, a Building size is a mural that's the size of uh, the building that depicts uh, part of the history of Quebec, and it's it's done in this uh, you know we used to call it like trompe l'oeil yeah trompe l'oeil yeah trompe l'oeil like like now they would call it the three D uh, you know construct you know uh, reconstruction uh, but but it, uh, it's all uh, uh, it's a painting and it looks like you're going in in three dimensions uh, it back but it's right on the it's in the center of the town so when you're there you kind of look at it and it really it really does uh, fool you you think you're you know you you think you're looking yeah, it's brilliant anywhere else in the world it would have been covered in graffiti in 10 minutes wouldn't it so let's be frank it's, it's done rather well to survive Canadians uh, don't do that um, uh, well, probably in Toronto, <laughs> but not, but not, no. good. So off you go. So save me, um, Luke, I saw something beautiful when I visited, uh, when I went to Quebec. Uh, Luke, uh, uh, j'ai vu quelque chose de, uh, beau, mm -hmm. uh, quand, uh, uh, j'ai, uh, Visite, uh, uh, mm -hmm. Visite, uh, Quebec. Lovely. Um, one second, I'm just trying to find a link for something for you all. Um, 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 no, I can't find it. Um, why 
would O Quebec and A Quebec both be correct at different times? And I'd like you to think of the video I did recently on American states. Well, we always say ah, ah, the state. We don't say with the the. We don't say ah, the. Well, I, let's go back to what we did with states. What did you do for? So do we remember the three distinctions? Let's just think about American states for a second. What were the three distinctions that we went with? Ignoring the few little weird ones. What, was the, what were the three distinctions that we went with? Um... Uh, uh, if it ends in an E and it's a changed name. Or Mex like uh, Mexico or Mex No, no, no. So let right. So if it ends in an E, we generally say that something's feminine with a place name and then we just learn the exceptions. And you're lucky that the American ones that end with an E, apart from Maine, are the ones where you've changed the name to something in French as opposed to something in English. So, for example, Floride rather than Florida. Um, so on Floride, on Georgie, on Louisiane, on um, Caroline du Nord, on Caroline du Sud, etc, etc, etc. On Pennsylvanie, yada yada. So they are the ones um, uh, um, um, where you would use on. If you have ones which begin with a vowel, you can also use on. If you have ones that are masculine that start, which basically the rest of them, really, that start with a consonant, you say O, A, U, or Don, L, um, would do for anything else. So, for example, Florida on Floride. Colorado starts with a consonant, O, Colorado, or Don, Le Colorado. Um, um, Illinois, on Illinois, because it starts with a vowel, or Don Illinois. Um, so that's how it kind of works. So Quebec can be the province or the city. So the city is a Quebec and the O Quebec is the province because it's a masculine word because it ends not in an E. That makes sense. Yeah? So in other words, you can say je suis allé au Quebec or je suis allé, you know, a Quebec. It depends whether you're talking about New York would be similar, but we don't say oh New York or a New York as much as we tend to say l'état de New York, the state of New York, New York State. Yeah. Um, uh, you just tend to say that one more. Um, uh, Washington, you'd say a Washington or l'état de Washington for Washington State. Yeah. So that's just in French, in French, in Canadian culture, you can, you can get oh and versus a. Lovely. So say for me, they painted something which looks like the old city. They painted something which looks like the old city. Um, it, it, it is on pan, pan. Uh, cal uh, Calcasso's uh, key um, regard. Uh, Not looks at, which looks like. Oh. Uh, Qui ressemble à? Oh, qui ressemble à? Qui ressemble à uh, la, la uh, vieille ville. La vieille ville, good. If you were dressed up in something, Stuart, <coughs> and I said, oh, Stuart, you look like whatever. Like, say you like, Lynn and I got a Halloween, whatever. No, because then you'd obviously look like something. Let's say, you say, Luke, Lynn's bought me this shirt, and I think it's a bit trendy, trendy, Whatever. Do you think it suits me? I say, yeah, you look cool. You look like so and so, like guy on the television. You know, whatever, whatever, whatever. You know, um, I'd say, yeah. We'd say either say tu ressembles à or on dirait. Oh, on dirait. On dirait. One would say oh, on dirait. Whatever, whatever. Good. Um, say for me. Um, nowadays, that's fine. No, nowadays, um, people say 3D, but we used to say trompe l'oeil. Uh, don't. Cette époque. Lovely. Now, I was only talking about that earlier. Be careful with epoch. Epoch's a bit grand and a bit philosophically big. You are philosophically very capable, but it's quite big. So in other words, if you're saying, oh, at that time, 
en, en ce temps-là. À, à ce temps-là, ou à ce moment-là. Um, but, um, what was it I gave you in the original French that I was just trying to think of? Um, well, in English, what did I just ask you to translate specifically? Um, um, oh, so nowadays, so, de nos jours, de nos jours, of our days, de nos jours, or actuellement, save me, we tend to say 3D, on a tendance à dire 3D. On, on attend. Uh, on a tendance à dire, on a tendance à dire. On a tendance, on a tendance. On a tendance à dire. We tend to say, on a tendance à dire. A tendance à dire. Nice. Now go again and enjoy the full range of your ha hi ha because it was fabulous. On a tendance à dire. Don't aim to get the words, I'll give you them in a second, just copy me. On a tendance à dire. On a tendance à dire. Lovely. That was your human brain using the part of your brain that can mimic. That's what we're all doing next week. Yeah, more mimicry, more imitation. Yeah, we'll do half of the photos to the left and then some imitation. Don't try and listen to words. Your brain is quite capable of listening to the sounds. The minute it tries to extrapolate words from what you're listening to, it all gets very, very frightening. Okay, so your brain can do it. Yeah, it's not a great taught skill. Children that are pre-language do it all the time. That's how they go from pre-language to basically language, all right? So, on a tendance à dire, and then someone can say, on a tendance à dire, but you've already heard it then. So, say to me, on a tendance à dire. On a tendance à dire. And your vowels are shining because you're imitating the, 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 the sort of organic, -y, you know, here's a DNA model of this thing, on a tendance, you know, they all look different. Good. So, we tend to say 3D, but we used to say trompe l'oeil. Say to me, we used to say trompe l'oeil. Uh, on this a uh, trompe l'oeil. Good. You can't move on from a sentence as good as your vowels are now unless you say it with zero pause. Mais on disait trompe l'oeil. On disait trompe l'oeil. On disait trompe l'oeil. Lovely. It's too easy for you otherwise. You've got to go all the way through. Good. My favourite trompe l'oeil in the world is the um, Medici fountain in the Luxembourg Gardens. I love that. Like with the angle of the water. I think that's so, so beautiful. Good. One more from Tom and then we're free. Uh, well done. Very good, people. Uh, one more for Tom. Uh, <laughs> it's so interesting how many of you have got dogs and cats in this situation. It's really, really interesting. So we have a lovely looking woman. And we have a cat and a bit of piping or something like that. Uh, we have some flowers, um, you know. So tell me in English, an overview, Tom, what's going on in this picture? Uh, that's my friend, uh, Abigail, who's from the States. And she just had some friends, some mutual friends were visiting from London and she hosted like a dinner party for them. And they have a cat who, is quite shy but he really likes to observe people when they come round so he always like um yeah he kind of sits on the stairs and he puts his head through and he just kind of watches people interesting uh, so he's um he's not very friend he's not very like uh tactile but do you know who he needs to hang out with stuart's cat they can go and be miserable bitches together that's how my grandparents are together because um my grandpa was desperately sad he'd come back from australia um, and he'd fallen in love with a woman over there and his mom had lied and said he had to come back because she, she was dying. And, he, and at the end of the war, you only allowed one passage. And my grandma had been dumped because she'd been crippled temporarily in a car crash, but they didn't think she was going to walk again. So she stubbornly learned to walk again. So she, she was really down and he was really down. And somebody who knew them both said, you're both so king miserable. Why don't you go? I know somebody that you could go be miserable with. Why don't you go be miserable with him? And they were. <laughs> and they lived miserably ever after. <laughs> Um, <laughs> that's seriously what set them up. Somebody's like, fucking hell are you are so, you know, whatever. Um, <laughs> good. So you'll put that, we'll put your two cats together. So off you go. So before we get going, do we know the word for, so what's the stairs? Uh, l'escal. L'escalier. An escal is like a layover in a place. Mm. Um, what, um, do we know what the word for, um, banisters is? Uh, no. If it goes like a line that you hold on to 
you call it a romp. Yeah. If it's like that, then you call it les barreaux, yeah. like bars. If it's a bit fancy, fancy, like on a colis maçon, like a spiral staircase, you tend to call it like a balustrade. Yeah, okay. uh, lovely. So um, that would be les barreaux. Okay. Oh. So tell, tell me an overview yourself, what you've just said. Tell me an overview yourself about that story entirely in French. Let's see you get on. Last one of the day. Uh, oui, c'est ma amie Abigail qui a organisé en fait de, oui, un petit peu pour des amis qui a visité de Londres. Excuse me. Now we could use visité if they were visiting the city, but do you not think we'd be being a little bit trying it on? Would you not think would be qui ont rendu visite? Bearing in mind we did a lot of work with it earlier. Yeah? Yeah, qui, qui ont rendu visite de rendre et nice elle, vowels, nice vowels, keep going, yeah. De rendre et elle a un chat, euh, ça peut potage et... Elle a un chat, s'appelle ou elle a un chat qui s'appelle? Elle a un chat qui s'appelle... If you have the only information present is the name, that wasn't even in English, I apologize. If the only information that you are giving about anything is the name. So my friend is called Phil. Mon ami s'appelle Phil, all right? My friend Phil uh, has a class tomorrow. Alors, mon ami Phil, or mon ami qui s'appelle Phil, a un cours demain. If there's another verb going on, use, you know, um, use the key. Yeah? Lovely, so keep going, keep telling. Uh, okay. Um, alors, un chat qui s'appelle potage, et il n'aime pas être trop proche. Avec... We all understand what potage means, like potage, like soup, yeah? Like vegetable soup kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, carry on. Et oui, il n'aime pas être trop proche avec les gens, mais il aime regarder, donc euh, quand il y a une fête, quand il y a une fête, il quand met... il y a une fête, quand, quand il y a une fête, il met sa tête entre les... Ah, bah, 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 bah. Il what? Il... Il met, il met sa tête. Il what? That's the subjunctive. Il... il met. Thank you. Do you remember lesson one? Uh, Soft yeah, and hard? I... Yeah. Il met. Il met sa tête entre les, 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 barreaux. les barreaux et il regarde. So in other words, it's like those people that go, I don't want to come, I don't want to come. Why didn't I get invited? Like he still likes a little bit of attention. It's, it's exactly. How fucking needy. How needy. How damn needy. Um, I think he just thinks of himself as a kind of higher being who like likes to watch the, the people running around. But he doesn't want to contaminate himself too much. With that. My daughter does that, but she's normally scanning to see if anybody's by the buffet. And then when her mum's not watching, she'll zoom down and get some stuff. Oh, that's and that's perfect. how she drank a bottle of uh, uh, wine um, for um, when it was the, a Super Bowl party. Um, yeah, I was really angry. I was just like, I'm not angry that you drank alcohol, even though it's illegal where you live and you should respect the local rules. I'm embarrassed that you're half European and you haven't even learned to drink water between your drinks. My God, what kind of a lightweight am I raising? So good. Well done, people. So before I press stop and talk to my friends, if you've enjoyed this class, I should have said this at the beginning. No one ever watches today. No, they do. I'm kidding. There is a link underneath, which is the coffee link. K-O-F-I. People, if you've enjoyed this video, this two hour free teaching video then could you please make a coffee donation it does go to help poor tired exhausted french teachers who have a lot of sadness and broken heart to deal with at the moment um and uh, a little bit of a coffee just gives them that little bit of joy to keep making free shit for youtube to help people uh good lovely right i will speak to you guys soon just give me one second uh stop recording 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 uh